Los Angeles, a bustling city of industry, filled with the glamorous aspirations of Hollywood hopefuls, and the nonstop tension of gridiron traffic. A city of affluence, and home to many. But on the fringe of this jumbled chaos lies a small community, a place known to its inhabitants simply as the jungle. In a forgotten part of West Los Angeles, where Culver Boulevard meets the Pacific Ocean, this lazy beachfront village goes about life as usual. Great, it's awesome. This is a really cool community down here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The best place in Los Angeles to be. I think it's, a, it's the best place I've ever lived. And, um, yeah, same here. So to me, I'd stay here for a really long time. Basically, the jungle is just a really cool place to live. The area is probably the furthest thing from what you would expect Los Angeles to be. Yeah, unlike anywhere else, really. We are part of the city of Los Angeles, but we really consider ourselves such. Uh, this place is very, very uh, down, down to earth, real like small townish. Everyone knows where you're at. If you Everybody knows around everything while. about everybody. It's an island within a city. It's a wonderful, still small time neighborhood. When you're here, you feel like you're out of the city. It's like moving to uh, uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota or something like that, you know? It's like living in a small town, but you still have access to LA, Anaheim, Disneyland, Hollywood. South beaches, you got Venice, Santa Monica, half hour from downtown. The city's out there and everything we need to do. The reason we came to LA, you know, is it's all there at our disposal. The jungle's kind of like its own little bubble of Los Angeles. It's a small, isolated little community. Um, not a lot of people know about it. It's pretty secluded, you know. This is like its own little private oasis down here. And isolated, cut off. And nobody knows that it exists other than us. Definitely a hidden talent in itself. Jungle is composed of four streets. Sunridge, Reese, Fowling, and Montreal. They are not streets per se, but alleyways. A place as unusual in its construction as in its mindset. Type of crowd. It's a concentrated mix down here. Got some older, some younger, some families. Surfers, single moms, and people waiting to get discovered. There's people from the East Coast, there's people from the Midwest. Actors, production. We have a judge, we have homeless people. Everything in the Stock jungle. Stock brokers. See the nice BMW there? Stock <laughs> We've got guys been partying for 60 years and guys who just legally party now. From old people like me to young swingers, you know, and little types. You'll find all walks of life here. Like a big salad bowl, kind of. Um, the jungle is like living in a big party. There's parties every weekend. Everyone's having a party all the time. Every night's about 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's noisy. It is pretty much a big party place. But besides that, it's always really fun. You know, a lot of pot smokers. Wild, pretty much. There's everything. You got bar, pizza, pizza, spaghetti, pizza everything, wild. like every kind of food. Plenty of neat pubs, too. You see the same people every day. It doesn't take you long to know everybody. We know all each other's kids, and it's very friendly. Everybody's pleasant. People are real neighborly. They're very friendly to each other. There's always a wave or some sort of gesture. It's definitely a community. People are a little bit afraid of the planes, but after a while, you don't really hear them anymore. Here. What plane? Oh, there's a plane going by. I don't even hear the planes anymore. Don't bother me one bit. The normal way of life. They, there's different events that go on in the jungle, particularly uh, several times a year. Everyone up! This is Cleo. 
Jungle cleanup started long before I was around. Um, 24 years now it's been going. The city of LA started helping us seven or eight years ago. Um, and our role in this whole cleanup effort is basically to uh, bring out all the tools and equipment that the groups need, the, all the brooms and the shovels that they'll be using, the trash bags. There's lots of turnover in uh, the jungle here. So there's lots of crap that piles up. It's a transit neighborhood. People leave mattresses when they move on, trash when they move on. Free t-shirts, coffee, and you get to uh, make a big pile of junk. Rise and shine. Let the beer flow. Someone came right in my window and started yelling with the blow heart. Never seen a neighborhood get together like this one. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction in the jungle. <laughs> the, the guy in the 10-speed couldn't believe his uh, his eyes when he saw his, Brutus pulling my fat ass along. <laughs> Dude, hey, this guy's a rip-off. He drove off. I gave him my money. He drove off one time. What do you have to say about that? That ain't keep up, man. He drove off, dude. What and you make counterfeit Pokemon cards. I need all people. You said you take my whole dollar. Hey, I don't know you, man. You don't buy for me anything. He's going to drive off. The guy like rips me off every single time I give him money. One time, he didn't even give him the change back. Good lord. I get dog. When all is said and done, it cannot be argued that the jungle is by any means an ordinary place. It is, however, a community in its most basic sense. Its inhabitants are distinctly aware that they are part of something unusual and special. And thus, in a city so far gone from anything that can be called a conscious community, the jungle is not so uncivilized after all. You know, it's kind of like a family type of thing. You know, I mean, there's always been a, a family side of, of this part of the beach. Uh, we are close. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just proud to be here. Um, with, with Playa Vista moving in, and the airport wanting to expand, you know, the north run, runway, and, and them, them redoing the wetlands over here, we're going to get an influx of uh, really a lot of people coming into this area. I, I hate to see the, 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 the char character of this town changed drastically where you can't even recognize it driving through. It, it has always been a hideaway place and, and even, even if it's, even if it becomes over, overly populated, it should still uh, keep that, that character. I hate to look back on another area that, that used to be. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune When I'm back on top, back on top in June I said that's life, that's life. And as funny as it may seem Some people get their kicks Stomping on a dream